My respects to you. Okay. I respect you. Are you the brawler who takes bets? What's it to you? I'm a Scalit's refugee, and I'd like to try my luck against you. Hang on, I know who you are. And I'll only fight you for silver. Got it? All right, let's fight then, if you think you can take me. Hold your horses, yeah. laddie. First, you have to prove you're a worthy opponent for me by beating two other regular brawlers, I've Stephen and a fellow they call Ringless. My home, my family, my livelihood. Are there any rules? Aye, ah, a couple. Whoever lands on his arse or runs loses. And no knives, axes, or any of that shit. You'll forfeit your wager for that, got it? That's a wife of silver. Do I really have to tell you? Look at yourself, and then look at the others. All they've got to wager is their labor, but you, you've got coin. Hey! I'm from Scarlet's good folk. You all know what happened there. Good health to you. He just makes it, he doesn't stop. Good day to you. Security reasons. Huh. I'm here on important business. You're the one holding. If you insist. That didn't hurt a bit, now did it? Carry on. What is it?
My respects to you. Let's go. We have their sensor rates. Let's talk about the price. Hmm. All right, so. Satisfied? Close. Drop the price a bit more and we'll shake on it. Very well, I agree. Be a bit more careful. Oh, 
heavens, lad. You're looking bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Last time I saw you, I thought you were ready for the priest. To be honest, I'm still not really feeling myself. I'll get on with you. You have a good strong frame that can take a beating, so be a man. I want to learn to read. Who should I go and see? There's a retired scribe in Ushitz. He could teach you. Do you want me to get in trouble? Don't try selling me stolen goods. Good health to you. About that debt? No, I won't be paying you anything. Is that right? When you're at death's door, you need me. But once you're on your feet, you forget who nursed you back to life. But you'll be back. Mark my word. You'll be back when you need something again. About that debt. Here you are. Thank you. I'm glad to see you're a man of honour. God be with you. <laughs> You're Stephen, aren't you? Milan tells me he won't fight me until I beat you. Oh, yeah? Then why would you want to? Well, never mind. Help I'll fight you if you pay me. What do you say? Please. I'm from Scalitz, and I lost everything I had.
really. So much good over here. It won't be a piece of the way by the time.
makes sense. Basically, if you do it so I lost it, pick up the flower first. Okay, guys. Just so much good. Let's talk Is about the prize. Why not? What about this? Close. Drop the price a bit. Fresh bread. Come and get it. That's a sum I can live. It's amazing. Let's have a word about the price. Why not? What do you say to this? I'd almost shake up. That's a sum I... Pretty 
Good day to you. What do you need? Aren't you Ringler? Milan says I have to beat you before he'll take me on. And you're that blacksmith's lad, right? What do you want out of it? You're not living in the dirt here like the rest of us. Maybe not. But why shouldn't I try and beat some coin out of him too? Yeah, and you can pass it on to us that need it. If you want to fight me, you dandy, then pay up. Or fuck off. So my strength just like I can carry shit around.
Hmm, are you looking for someone? Date you. to the internet if you did not this on. It means I am dumb and blind.
hopefully that those people on the internet are wrong. I am really dumb in this game before I just drop shit a couple of minutes ago. Good day to you. Let's fight. You gave those two a pretty good hiding, and I made a grosh or two in bets. You scallops fellows are good for my purse. Let's fight. <laughs> Didn't have enough last time, eh? Bring you want some more?
is sleeping is slow. Came from over here. God bless. There's design blocks in this game.
Nothing on the left hand. The right? Oh shit, there's nothing there either. Where the fuck is that ring? <coughs> oh, a stench makes me want to puke. Peshek will pay for this. No, clear off. Let me sleep. There was a corpse in the grave, but no ring. What the fuck is going on? Easy, Hal. Hold your horses. If the ring wasn't on the corpse, the executioner must have taken it before he buried the body. I can see where this is going. You want me to get the ring from the executioner? Clever lad. Only I wouldn't recommend talking to him about it. He's a bit touchy on the subject of robbing the dead. It'd be better to pinch it from his house. All right, I'll go and find that ring. It should be in a trunk somewhere in the house. And look here, Henry. Do you know how to get past the lock? Get past the lock? You mean jemmy it off with a crowbar? No, you don't. I mean the delicate, gentle art of opening it quietly and with sensitivity, like popping a young maiden's cherry. I have some experience. All right. I'm glad to hear you're not as clumsy as you look. Here's a lockpick for the job. I've got the money to pay that debt. And I was afraid you had a chamber pot for a head. Hand it over. That job's still going, if you're interested. Sure, I'm on it. Can you tell me something about the other millers? There's a couple of other fellows around here in my trade. Wojciech in Kohelnitz and Simon in Sasa. Tell me about Wojciech. He's young and hot-blooded, with a short temper. Unfortunately, he got himself into a feud with that. What about this son? An odd one he is, a loner who don't talk much. Tell me something about your... There's nothing much to tell. I was born at the mill, I live here, and I'll sh...
Would you teach me something about the uh, milling? Aye, why not? You're handy enough. Hey, watch it. I'll remember you. I'll stand here and pretend I don't know you're there. You try sneaking up behind me without me seeing you and take something from my purse. First, you have to rummage in the purse. The longer you do it, the better chance you have of finding something valuable, but also getting caught in the act. Once you've found something you want, you've got to pull it out carefully, but fast enough so I don't notice. Try stealing my dagger. It's there, mixed up with other things. Caught you! If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Caught you! If this was for real, I caught you! If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. <clears throat> caught you! If this was for real, I'd be yelling for caught you! Caught you! If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. I'll stand here and pretend I don't know you're there. First, you have to rummage in the... Once you've found some... Try stealing my... <laughs> Caught you! I'll stand here and pretend I don't know you're there. First, you have to rummage... Once you've found... Try stealing... Caught you! If this was for real, I'd be it's yelling for a guard. Try it again. Caught you! If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. I'll stand here and pretend I don't know you're there. If you try sneaking up behind me without me seeing you, take something from me. Once you've found something, you try stealing. I'll stand here and pretend yeah, first, once you yes, crash the you to do one again because that's what I want to do. Caught you! Also, if this was for that. real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Once we have this fucking conversation again. Caught you! If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. Caught you! If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a Caught you! If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Caught you! If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. Caught you! If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. Caught you! If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. Oh, okay. 
I'll stand here in the tent. First, you have to rummage in the purse. That's the way. I hardly noticed you were there. I think you're ready to try it out for real. Best practice on drunks and sleeping folk, so you don't end up in jail before you even get started. Thanks, Pashek. You're welcome. But I'll be having that dagger back now. Damn! God be with you. Can you tell me... What's Sahan's cape on? Like... What's the local... That's all. This is a fence I can climb over in real life. Talk about fucking realism. What's that? Miller Peshek sent me. He's very sorry, but by mistake, he didn't give you the full weight of flour last time. He says you should come and get the balance. That rogue. How much is it? Half a sack. That's nothing to sneeze at. It certainly isn't. I'll go there right away.
What? This is nothing but an ordinary copper band. It's not worth a tin penny. I'll have that ring for you. Good. Nice to know you're the sort of lad I can trust with a job like that. Now run with the ring to Wojtek, the Miller and Kohelnitz. He'll have some work for you, and I'll have something for you soon too. A clever fellow like you will never want for work. At the very least, I'll buy risky goods from you. I mean the kind that used to belong to someone else and you can't sell to just anyone. Stolen goods? Thanks, but no thanks. I'm not a thief.
My respects to you. Let's fight. <laughs> I can't fight. Have pity on me, a poor wretch. Sigismund and his murderers took everything Let's fight. I have. I hope you've got coin. I can't fight just now. Let's fight. <laughs> Didn't have enough last time, eh? You want some more? here for convenience.
think we want to go back to the fall cloud. Good day to you. What do you need? I'm here for training. Yes, you're that boy Sir Radzik sent. Yes, that's me. Let's get to it then, since that's what Sir Radzik wishes. Uh, and because you've never held a sword in your hand before, we'll start with something simpler. Very well. Come with me and listen closely. I don't want to be repeating myself. Well, let's see what you're made of. Hold it properly. Keep moving. Never stand still when your life depends on it. Right, good. Now, try attacking. You've got to put your back into a good slash. No use waving the sword around like you're swatting flies. Go into the attack with your whole body. Try slashing from various sides to get used to it. That pointy tip isn't for decoration. Try stabbing me with it a few times. That will do. Slashing, stabbing, and movement are the foundations that you build everything else on. Now, let's try something more complicated. One strike, I can simply fend off. You mustn't give your opponent time to react. String your strikes together. As soon as you finish one, begin another. Strike, strike, strike. Very good. Very good. Now let's see how you do with defense. It's not hard to block a basic strike. Just watch out, move your sword into the path of the blow. See what you're made of, lad. Come at me and don't hold back. Fine enough. You're not a complete dead loss. It'll be hard work to turn you into a master, but you have the basics. Let's try something more advanced. When in combat, keep an eye on the space between you and your opponent. That is your space. Try to attack from the side the opponent will find harder to block in time. If I'm holding the sword raised up, do an uppercut. If my sword is low, lunge. Let's try it. You strike a few times at the side where I'm not holding my sword. Very 
Right. Lesson two. Everything you've learned about walking is wrong. When I cover, I can simply fend off your blows with my sword and gain control of the space between us. It's better not to control just the space, but actually your opponent's weapon. Attack, and I'll show you. All right, that will do. Now you. The trick is to stay in your stand. As soon as I start to attack, you block. The move knocks the blade aside. And hold the sword there. You have to move along with the attack. Again. Ah. Too soon again. Ah. Ah, that's it. Ah. Try and catch the rhythm. You see the sword move, you move at the same time and deflect it. Slow motion. Ah, that's it. Ow. Not bad. Right, now we'll try it a little faster. Concentrate and block just at the moment I start attacking. I'll strike you from above each time so you can see it well. Try it at full speed. You probably won't succeed, but that's normal at the start. You must train. Let's go. Greetings, Sir Hans. What brings you here? I was on my way when I noticed that you're entertaining Sir Radzig's esteemed guest. Not the same as holding a hammer, is it, blacksmith? It's Sir Radzig's orders. I know. I'm actually here to train at the archery range. My hand's grown heavy lately. You don't mind, do you, Bernard? Not at all, my lord. Good day to you, blacksmith's boy. Try not to hurt yourself. Where did we finish? Yeah, leading the opponent where you want him. There's one more way to evade a strike. You simply step aside, attack, and I'll show you. All right, try it. It's important not to move too soon. I'll see where you're going and hit you. But the same will happen if you move too late. I'll attack slowly now. As you see me, raise the weapon, jump aside. We'll throw the opponent off a bit, and there's your chance. Nice. Not bad. Very good. Fine. Now try it a little quicker. Try and get used to the rhythm. Never take your eyes off your opponent. See a strike before it's even properly started. Good. Nice. Oh. Nice. 
And the last thing for today, a trick. You raise the sword to force your opponent to block, but then change the direction of the attack at the last moment, and the opponent won't even know what hit him. Try it. Draw back the weapon, then change the attack zone and strike, so I don't have time to react. <sighs> nice! <sighs> no, that's not it! Too bad. Maybe we'll make a soldier of you after all. But don't get cocky. You have to train hard and persistently. You might have talent. Talent alone won't do. Practice. Leave yet. So Radzik also wanted me to teach you archery. Come with me. What the hell are you doing? I'll come to the right bank. This is me to walk even slower than base walking. I have some uh, trophies. Let's see. All right, a collection. My right, boy, you're God's own avenging angel. Can I ask? Thank you. Day to you. Do you know if there's anyone around? Could be. Bertold, our local gamekeeper, was looking for help with something a while back. 
Why don't you ask him if he still needs help? Do you know if there's anyone around here who could use my help? Hmm. Be a bit more careful. See then. Take this bow, go and stand in position over there, and we can start. And another thing, put on this arm guard. Without it, you could flay your forearm with the bowstring, so be sure to wear it. Thank you, Captain. Save the thanks, and get in position. Some three six, some three seven, cool. Great time. 